Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, everybody. I am Luckless Lovelocks, and I'm here with my good friend Christopher Odd. It's and me. And today, we're going to be uh, rescuing Lazale. Hopefully. And then heading, I think we're going to explore this area over here to the left, and then maybe go into the village, maybe do a long rest. Yeah, we do need to do a long rest. Yeah. Uh, I do have this natural recovery thing as part of being a druid which will um, replenish some spell slots. It's based on my level. It's a complicated thing, but basically I'll get one um, uh, one spell slot back, which is fine. You can do this once per long rest. Right, As I get higher levels, then I'll get, then I'll get more of that, so. Look at these butterflies, dude. Can you collect them or anything? No, yeah, they just look nice. Oh, okay. Uh, is this the sigil? Wait, is this a new sigil? Emerald Grove yeah, environs. Be. So do you have to interact with them to activate them? I'm yeah. not sure, but... Man, look at the view. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Should I push you off? Can you? <laughs> Save it! <laughs> You're actually gonna push me off, you bastard. Yeah, you can't, you can't push me Time off. Time to run. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with me, no, man. Oh, I know. It's a rage time. I know. Okay, let's go find uh, Lazale. She probably Lizelle. saw us walk by and was like, thanks. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, guys. That's cool. I should actually probably lead with Asterion because... Um... I'm not here for oh, right. Oh, I wanted oh. to careful, uh, cast... Careful, 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 careful. What? what? Don't, don't run in there because we saw that group, remember? And I don't know if there's more. But on the back side over here, uh, it looked like we could oh, sneak. Yeah. So let's, let's walk hey, stop, around. Stop, stop moving for a second. I'm going to cast Blessing of the Trickster on you. How long does that last? Should we cast it when we're closer? I think it just lasts forever. Oh, okay. The concentration spell. Okay, cool. so what does that do? It has advantage on stealth checks. Yeah, literally perfect. Until yeah. long rest. So, uh, it's a concentration spell, you said? Yeah, so if I get hit, I'll lose the concentration. Okay. So that spell will be gone. Or if you go prone. I noticed that... Um, uh, I had something lose concentration, that fairy fire or something, maybe? Right, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I lost the fairy fire concentration when I went prone in the grease, so... So she's over here. Yes, and we came upon these people, Demace and Nymisa. Now, what I'm thinking, we could do something interesting here. Um, okay, what are, you, what are you thinking? So I'm thinking I might split my group. And I would keep him here sneaking. Okay. And then... Oh, you're, you're just doing it. You're not, we're not going to talk about it. You're just going to do it. Well, I'm not going to engage. Of course it's okay. dangerous. One of them carved up Zora's whole squad. Can you hear this? So let's yeah. leave it. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it to the grove. We take it to the grove. So I don't know if these guys are good or bad. I, I don't know if I should just go and, like... You know, I don't know if I want to just kill them. So I'm wondering if you or I engage from the other side. We just kind of walk up, see what happens. Oh, and keep him here. And I keep him a... here as a... Uh, if we do monster. fight, you could, like, get in there and backstab them. Yeah, like, that makes sense oh, to me. Oh, I like, I like that plan. Okay. okay. I'm coming. Okay. Just wait a second. Yep. You want me to... I'll probably engage, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need your charisma. Oh, God. Surprise! Okay. Right. Yellow as Stealth a succeeded. Interesting. Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. <laughs> her lips don't move, yet you I hear her voice. I saw you walk by before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I could run some. Oh. Okay, okay. That deception is kind of interesting. Shoot the trap down. I just don't want her to get hurt, you know? Uh, I think I'll roll a deception here. The creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. I like it. Beautiful. We've been crushing these rolls lately, which you know what that means. You know what that means. When we need them, it's He's <laughs> we're right. going to fail miserably. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? Go on. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Is he talking about the ship 
landing? Like, probably. Uh, we're in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Persuasion check. I need a five. That'll do. Save those rolls, man. <sighs> I'm trying, dude. A five would have been fine. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Cool. Okay, so that... Enough gawking. Get me down. <laughs> Say please. <laughs> Do uh... it. Do it. Never. Oh, look. They approved. He's still hiding. It says lost condition Observe. hiding. Yeah. Listen. You'll hear <laughs> before you see them. As you say. Okay, it's like, yeah, that, yeah, I was hiding there. I'm glad we didn't just straight up attack, though, because that Now, there is bad. something to consider, too. Like, if you got caught sneaking, would they just attack? Right? Still alive. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Notice how it gives you a, a bow there, because you need to shoot this down. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. I wonder, like, should I be th should I be equipping a bow even though I'm not proficient? Hmm. Like, just to have as a just to switch. Hold on. You lack proficient training. You won't add your proficiency bonus to attack rolls. You can switch oh, you between can't. holding you your ranged it. or melee weapons. I think, like, I can though. Still it still says plus one. Yeah, like I can take the shot. That's embarrassing. Get me down. Did you, I wasn't looking to no, hit this. No, it hit. It's just very low damage. <laughs> all right. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. And what exactly is a crash? It a crash. Things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. So they're used to this. <laughs> uh, okay, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. <laughs> How about you go to camp and we'll get you when we need you? How about you're Very our weakest well, warrior? But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. She needs to calm down. Holy crap. She's, yeah, I mean, she's fired she's up. I get it. I She's she's a little stressed. I would be too. Um, okay, so there's a couple of quests that we probably want to bring specific people on. Let's just do a quick review here. So we've got find a cure. We need to find the healer, Nettie. There's a camp nearby where someone named Nettie can supposedly heal any wound. She might be able to remove the parasite. We have the Githyanki Kresh. Uh, Lazale told us about the Githyanki that should be able to cure us if we can find one of their creches. Someone named Zoro should know more. She said she wanted to, like, interrogate him. Yep. We have to explore the ruins where we saw those bandits. Uh, we scared them, and then we left to go and explore a little bit. Do you want to go back there? It's, it's just uh, down the road. Yeah, we will. Um, we have our companion Githyanki warrior to find Zoru, so we definitely should take her there. Um... And that seems like it's in the area. The Pale Elf, just continue traveling with him. That's fine. The Wizard of the Water Deep, continue traveling with Gale. That's fine. And Freela's Ale is complete. So, yeah, lead the way. Let's go back to um, that opening area where we saw those guys. All right. Just up ahead. Oh, yeah, we're coming in from the side now, right? Yeah, yep. I think so. Cool. Uh, oh, we can go dig up those... Um, those dirt yes. mounds now. We also have the cracked stone with a uh, coiled rope and a foundation block yeah. above it. Hmm. So that's an option. In interesting. What do I we do with those? Well, we've seen this before. <laughs> you can shoot it down if you want, and I'll go digging. Okay. Do I even have... Do you have any... I don't, think... I don't even have a bow, but I do have a uh, fire bolt. That, that should do. 
Took me one shot. Nice. Good job, man. I'm like, I'm like you. Yeah, if only my bulls are made of fire. Uh, okay. Here's some scrolls. I got a scroll of magic missile. Ooh, that's good. Now, do the scrolls have any bearing on, like, our attributes, or are these just, they do the thing that they're supposed to do and anybody can cast them? They're one-time use. I, I think you can use them to learn spells. Okay. Like, right-click on it, and you might be able to add it to your spell book. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure how it works in this game. Okay. I also got two scrolls of Featherfall, so that would be really great for someone to learn. Um, so that you gain immunity to fall damage. Oh, that's great. So if if that's the case, then that's that would be really nice. Uh, I'm just going to rearrange my bar here. I'm going to send the Thieves tools that I picked up to Asterion. Okay. It's already got some, I guess. I'm going to dig up this other mound here. And I'm going to give you a torch. Sure, thanks. Because you can't see in the dark. That's true. Now, if my party members can see in the dark, does that work for me as well? Like, in a fight or something? Do you know how that works? I'm not sure. It might be dependent on which character you have selected. Here's a potion of speed. You said you had one of these, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll keep this. Gain an extra action, plus two to armor class, advantage on dexterity, saving throws, and double your movement speed. When it ends, you become lethargic. So that's fine. Okay, so we have a way we down have some options here. in the yeah, middle. We can, like, we can jump down here. There's a door mm -hmm. over here. And we also have a back path over here that leads to a little hatch. So okay. I don't what know how, do? how frisky you're feeling, but... I'm always frisky. Are you kidding me? The door seems okay. like the least exciting option. Look at how frisky I am. The door seems... Oh, you know what? I bet you the door's locked. Let's just double check, but I feel like the door is locked. I'm gonna go check. I'm with you. Don't fall. Yeah, door. I think the door is locked. Everything all right out there? Oh, this is Gimbal Box friends. Oh, okay. Um, how do I... <laughs> performance? Yes. Yeah. Do it. Gimbalbach triggers some trap. He needs help now. These are both Would the same. Would you do it, though? Like, you got to think about it. Would your character actually do this performance? Well, hell yeah. I'm charismatic, okay. dude. Yeah, it's okay. me. Let me in. <laughs> Holy, we are nailing these. That's perfect. Not too high. Yeah, Save we didn't use ones. up too much luck there. <laughs> you sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. Cheese your way through. Asterion oh, inspired. Okay. Hey, okay. So it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that character that does it. It's just the party. Yeah. That's cool. I like that because then, like, you're not going to miss out on stuff, you know? So it's cheese your way through. Talk your way past the bandits and enter the chapel. Yeah. So I guess we don't know the events beforehand. We just... It shows it to us once we do them. Yeah. And that's fine, because otherwise you would be you would manipulate that a lot, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm in here now. Oh, God. I am in, and we are fighting. Hold up. Your Oops. enemies are surprised, cannot take actions, reactions, or move on the first round of combat. Uh, if you surprise these enemies with an attack... It went away. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thank you. Well, this guy, I mean, we all get to act, so we should just own him, right? So I'm going to do... Uh, Looks like it's a Sterian first. Nice. Oh, yeah. It, it is, actually. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do my... I'm going to use my bonus action to hide. Yep. And then I'm going to go sneak attack. Where'd he go? Sneak attack. Sneak attack advantage. You have advantage on sneaking attacks, letting you sneak to deal more damage. Yep. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that, I guess. He's very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, because he's surprised, he doesn't... Uh, yeah, that's what we just learned. All right, just go in and, like, whack him. Breathe deep. Move. Reckless attack. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I mean, frick. I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> oh, there's a key. Bandit's key. Yes, bandit's key. Makes you, sense. You took that, I guess. 
Yep. Okay, so we're in here. Uh, however... Use a light source, like a torch or the light spell to see in the dark. Creatures with dark vision don't need external light sources. Yeah, so what does it look How like for delicious. you? I'm switching between characters Watch and it looks the same. Like visually. I think it might impact things like uh, maybe perception or maybe, um, you know, chance to hit. Normally the patron god is obvious. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. I hear people. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. I'm gonna grab all this food for like uh, camp supplies and stuff. Ancient, indecipherable text yep. covers the plaque. The dead tongue. You can look at the important Whoever stuff. Worshipped here must be long gone. Uh, Death and Divinity, a godly guide. There's a book here. We're probably not gonna read all the books, are we? No, but if it seems interesting, like yeah, read it. Let me let me take a look at it. Okay. Oh, okay. In this dark corner, there is a significant difference. It's like, literally looks like Asterion has a flashlight compared to me. Yeah, it's, it's just some lore about some that. god. Jurgle. Okay, nothing too important. Yeah. Not, not currently important. Campfire. If I click this, I just... Okay. You put out the campfire! <laughs> he just ran into How it. How dare you, Sterian. Uh, nothing else there. I guess I can check the shelf. Nothing. Okay, oh, do you see legs. anything else in here? There's obviously the door. Yeah. So there's some enemies through there, I assume. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we should go back and check, like, either that side section or... Um... Or the, the drop-down point. What do you think? Well, I think the drop-down point is just going to drop down into the other side. Just based on how this is working out. Okay. Um, I don't know what that, where the hatch goes. Though. Like, it's, see where this broken thing is beside us? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I see what you're saying. This door is locked, too. Can we even get in here? It's sturdy. Well, there's a lever there. There is? Oh yeah, damn. Let's t let's hit it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, oh, there's barrels. Yeah, there are. Oil okay, barrels. I, okay, okay, okay. I've got uh firebolt. Mm -hmm. So I'll move up and I'll hit one of those barrels. Do you think that explodes the barrel immediately or do you need to put oil on the ground first? Because what, to find out. because what I could do is, uh, I have Firebolt as well. So, yeah. Okay. You try it and see what happens. And then I'll try okay. it with Asterion, maybe. Wait. There we go. I think it blows up right away. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, 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 not, yeah. Not 100% sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we'll have to experiment more, but I think, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a decent start. I'm going to get out of the way. Yeah. Torga there. So what's your plan? Uh, well, they sneak, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go sneak attack ranged 5 to 15. 91% with advantage. That's got to be tough on the quads. Oh, boy. No! Nice try. 91% that was. Now, you're blocking the door. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to move. That's as far as I can go, unfortunately. Okay, I can't. I can't get through easy these days. Oh no! Maybe, maybe I can jump through. Yeah, you can jump through, but that's your action. So, oh no, I can use it as my oh, bonus. I, uh, yeah, it's a bonus action. For okay, me too. okay. So, um, do you want to go ahead? Because I need you to sort of tank. I might go badger yeah. form here. Go badger. <laughs> Love it. Gotta jump it in. Oh, wait. Actually, I can't because I have to uh, replenish my natural recovery charge. Now, I won't be able to get to them anyways, so oh, I no. think I'm going to dash up to this. Um... I'm going to dash. I'm going to jump by you, as one does through the door. I'm going to engage with this uh, archer. So maybe you can answer this for me, but um, for some sure. reason, I don't have... Uh, I don't have an action this turn. I only have a bonus action and movement. That's weird, right? 
But you didn't do it. Oh, did it count pulling the lever as an action? Oh, maybe. Because mm, the combat happened afterwards, though. I, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, either way. So I can jump in. Uh, I could jump in. So we've got... Nice. We've got a fighter, it looks like. And then what's this? But, like, that's literally all I'm going to be able to do. Okay. Uh, Asterion still has... He has nothing. Nothing, okay. Yeah. Just have to end his turn. Do I have to worry about the way I'm facing? I feel like I should. I feel like there is a way to... Uh, Backstab? To change the way that they uh, look, but I don't know what that is yet. I don't think it matters in this. Oh, okay. But don't quote me on that. Okay, he it missed. Does, like, I, I think flanking matters, so we have people on opposite sides that matters, but the direction you're facing, I don't think it matters. Right. Fair enough. Now, do I go for a sneak check Ooh, here? Ooh, Asterion took a serious hit. Yeah, he did. He'll be okay. Will he? I could heal. Actually, uh... Just be aware that uh, the healing potion... Okay, he failed the sneak check. Action. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He failed the sneak check. Oh, this guy's raging. Um, I'm just trying to figure out my best play here. Yeah, we need to focus Hasid, I think, over Torga. I have an idea. Okay, what is it? I'm going to move up. I'm going to throw... Um, that bulb? Yeah, one of those. Actually, oh. why don't you let me throw the bulb for my action? Uh, actually, hold on a second. If you can get them together, like here, yeah. I could cleave them. Yeah, and I could also lightning breath them. Uh, yeah. So, But you won't be able to throw the thing and lightning breath, right? Right, but if I give it to Asterion, we could do that. Yeah. I'm just Can wondering, it to him? I'm going to check. Yep. Send to cool. Asterion. Okay, so now... this We're overcomplicating this, but it's a cool idea, so we're going to try yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're still early in the game, so we're trying stuff out. See what works. Is this going to pull everyone? The AoE is huge. Well, let's find I out. Just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. There goes Blessing of the Trickster. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I guess I'm just going to attack, because otherwise I'll take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Uh, do your attack first. So I have Heartstopper. Could inflict chest trauma. And the target loses an action. Oh, cool. Let's do that. Okay. Is that a skill? Yeah. Oh, no! Ooh, what's this? Critical miss. So reactions. Once per round, a character can react to another action. Manager available reactions in the reactions tab. So I can choose tenacity. When you miss an attack, deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously. Okay. Now right. I have this. I have one spell left. I have an ice knife, three to twenty-two damage. Uh. It explode. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it explodes yeah, it and explodes. deals two to twelve to anyone nearby. So maybe not the play. <laughs> oh, I can wild shape now though. But that's going to be my action. Uh, you still have Carlock. Can you go in and see what kind of damage you can do to Hasid there? Yeah, I'm going to whack this guy. Only five. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to need... I need something that does over ten. I do have a... Um... Oh, I can cope my weapon. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. Should have done that before. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Three damage, buddy. That was good. He's just resisting all the things. Okay. Well. So, is there anything you can do with Asterion, or is he done? Uh, no. He's he's done, unfortunately. And he might fall. I think I might just heal, or I could do. Potion of speed to get an extra action, but I don't even think that really helps me that I much. Just here. heal. 
Okay. Oh, a save. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, we are uh, slightly weak here, but I think we can finish <laughs> it now. Okay. 80%. I'm going to whack this guy. He's still alive. Unbelievable. One health. Hmm. Now, do you you still have an attack? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my disengage to get uh, Asterion out of here. Okay. This way. I can do cleave. Well, yeah, can you cleave both? both of these? Yeah. That guy'll die unless you miss. Okay. Saved. Damn it. Okay. I'm at five health. I'm a little concerned about Torga over here. Um. I could just wild shape so that I get uh, extra health and just survive. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Because I don't have enough to really kill these guys yet. Unless I roll extremely high. Okay. Oh, I can move and engage the archer. I'm wolfing. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. I want to be a druid. Yeah, Next it's, time. It's pretty neat. On our second playthrough, I'll be a druid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> our second 170 hour playthrough. Yeah, exactly. So what can you do with the wolf? I'm looking... Uh, so I have Inciting Howl. I can give everybody in earshot additional 3 meter movement during their next turn. I have Exposing Bite uh, so that people get uh, critical hits against them. So this feels pretty good. This feels like something we yeah. should be running. And then mm -hmm. uh, just a regular bite as well. But I can't do anything Boom. now because I just transformed. So I have to... A little bit better than just like digging it underground. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, thank God. Okay, they're... They shoved me. They're not messing around at all. Freaking bastard. Ow. Dude, the damage. Okay, so let's try this. We, let's go. I might end up killing it if I roll max damage. But I'm yep. going to do Exposing Bite. If it hits, the next attack against the target from within 1.5 meters. So it has to be a melee follow-up. Okay. Would be a crit. Of course. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Well, uh, yeah. Don't need to crit them anymore. Definitely. Uh, are you... Okay. Can you throw any spells in that direction? What, what kind of spell did you want me to throw? Any, like, anything, because I'm going to run in there and engage it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll throw in a fire. Oh, nice. There you rolled go. really you high. Have to run in. Beautiful. Good job, man. Yeah, good job, good job, good job. Time to loot. Grab all the things. There's a book here. Journey through the jungle. Let's see if it's any good. I got an 11 armor class light armor. Does that benefit anybody? Nope. It's the same. I need to find a way forward. Something about chasing a creature. If you think it's relevant, uh, read it. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's particularly important. It's just like chasing, hunting a creature or something. Oops. Basic poison to coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a Constitution saving throw. It's a bonus action. I'll send this to uh, Shadowheart. I accidentally talked to Shadowheart. We'll talk later. All right. I sent some thieves tools to Asterion. There's more thieves okay. tools back there. More, more poison I'll give to Shadowheart. Liquid fire exploding on impact. Alchemist fire. I'll give that to like... Uh... Oh, I sent them to Shadowheart. I meant to send them to Carlock. Can you go and send those items to Carlock? Those uh, poison the, things? Yeah, uh, basic poison. Yeah, for your blades. Yep. Sure. Now, should we take a rest here? Or did we already use our rests? I, I think we should because I've had a spells with Shadowheart. Yeah, so yeah. She's kind of useless. Okay, let's do a short rest. It says Warlock's restore spell slots. So you, I, don't, I don't think short rest restores her spell slots. Yeah. Okay, let's just check this room. Did you read the Book of the Final Breath? 
Come yeah. see this, it's moving. Hmm? You're blocking my light. I have no idea what that means or why that's there. <laughs> Watch your back. Man, that dark vision is really nice. Holy smokes. That kind of makes me want to take that druid spell at some point that gives you the, the light in your hand. There is a big room ahead, like a library statue. Okay. It looks really cool. Okay, listen to this. I picked up a, a scroll that gave me a pop-up. Though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of this scroll, its beginning is still legible. This is called the Sealing Ritual. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our God cares not for petty ritual. There's only the sealing. S-E-A-L-I-N-G. And it is vital that we observe mm -hmm. it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our God. So I don't know if that's relevant or not, but it did prompt me to like read that. So I maybe don't know. an offering we can do in this next room. Could be. Could be. Okay, so let's head back into this main room and we'll do a long rest, I guess. Do we end up do you go to camp? Do yeah. Do a long rest? Yeah, yeah. Go to camp and end the day. And there'll probably be some conversations and stuff to do here, so this is fine. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Yeah, so there's um, somebody that we need to find that will allow us to respec, and they come to our camp, so you can kind of do that whenever you want. Okay. So, um, somebody over here wants to talk. Do you want to come to see me? Lazale wants to talk. Okay. Coming over? Okay. A monster forms inside us, and you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Interesting, sure. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're just not wearing a shirt? But no, no, we don't. Do in camp? So you can wear, you can set certain clothes to be camp clothes, or you can go. Oh, I see. Shirtless, yeah. That's a pretty cool chest you got going on there, dude. I got like a fifty-two pack. <laughs> I just about to say <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, this crash notion of yours. Are you sure it's our only option? You would doubt me. I do not trust a common healer to extract a gate tadpole without killing its host. At a crash, a gust still may cleanse us. Safely. She Take just wants to say crash. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate <laughs> to end you. Fair. I think she's your love interest. She might be. She might be. Nice on my feet. Uh, Shadowheart also wants to talk. I'll talk to her. Sure. Talk to my lady. You strike me as the reliable sort, but are you sure this is a good idea? Hmm. Sure what is a good idea? There are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to blow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Um, agreed. Our top priority, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Oh, we got Rest approvals. Well. we'll need our strength. Okay. I want to talk to her about that thing. What thing? Her, uh, that thing she's holding. Okay, well, try talking to her again, see if there's any option. Something the matter. There we go. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? Yep. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Well, now I can't forget. Um... Yeah. That's all I wanted to hear about. Okay. Do you want to talk to, uh, Asterion? Yeah, I will. Even though he doesn't have the exclamation, I'm just curious. Your gift friend seems on edge. Mustn't relish the thought of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when 
All of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Hmm. The right herbs can make a soothing tea if you, can, if you can't settle in. Ah, uh, no. Tea isn't really my drink. I'll be awake a while anyway. Blood, right? I need some time to <laughs> think things through. He's got interesting marks on his neck. Process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think he'll, I think he'd respect this. We're both gonna stay up. I'm not ready to turn my back on a stranger. You know. Never mind. If you want to spend time <laughs> with disapproved. me, disapproved. You only have to say so. But suit yourself. I'm sure we'll drift off at some point. That's cool. All right, let's touch base with uh, Gale as well. Okay. Go to hell. Look at those luscious locks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did I do anything in particular to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. My character was stuck there for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's in your mind, Gail? Devils. Dragons. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. God, the writing's so good. Mm. That's not abstract. Question for you, is the camp always the same or is it based on where you're resting? So, I don't know, but like right now, obviously, it's in this castle. Um, mm -hmm. I remember when we played in early access. It was outside. It, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. I mean, oh, he's not yeah. wrong. What can I say? But that you're right. We're in deep. You know what? Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee <laughs> one gets hungry. Yeah. Okay, and let's go see. Did we talk to Lazale? Yep. Yeah, my bad. Okay, cool. So I think we can rest. Um, is there anything else we want to pick up here? There's like these random things around. I guess we might there's as well a, take a, it. A ball? <laughs> yeah, it squeaked when I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. Maybe we'll find a dog, and then we play fetch, and then that leads us to a guy, and then we kill the boss, and then we win the game. Like, it could be... It could be the key to everything, right? Give me the ball, because you'll turn into a wolf, and then I could throw it for you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to bed. Me too. So camp supplies. Uh, use the required amount of camp supplies to fully rest, recovering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rest. Not using enough camp supplies to rest will only partially recover your resources. Um, so we should get rid of, like, the food and stuff first. I, just so you know, I can't see anything. It just says another player is currently choosing camp supplies. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. good. So basically, the point is, um, you we have things called supply packs, which just fill the camp supplies, or we can use all the random food and stuff that we've been gathering. So okay. that's what I'm using up first. Is there there is there a bonus for using one over the other? Um, no, I just think it makes more sense to clear your inventory of all this garbage food. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, is there... Oh, I can auto-select. Oh, that's nice. You can just auto-select, and it does prioritize the food, so that's actually good to know. Good. I was doing a little dance before I went to bed. <sighs> ah. Beautiful. Okay. We're back in action now. This is great. Um, okay. Let me so how do we how do we get back to it? That's a good question. Do we just leave? There's a door here. Yeah, I guess we could try leaving. Sure. Where are we? Oh, like, it's like a library. It's like a side area here. But is there anything in it? 
could practice combat. There's rows of books. I guess you could store leave camp when you're ready to get back to your adventure. Okay. It's probably just out the back here. Nope, that's block two. Uh, oh, leave camp. Leave camp, you click on the little thing. Yeah. I found it! Nice. Okay. So, uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't we why don't we wrap it up here? It's a little shorter than our previous episodes, but um, for those watching, I think we're going to aim for like the 40 to 45 minute mark. Um, if we can get a combat in every mission or every episode, like that would be ideal. We may or yeah, may not like be able to do it. Interesting event or conversation as well. Try to get both of those into each one to an episode. Yeah, just so it's not like a, you know, a nothing situation. Um, yeah, but anyways, we'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I think what we're going to prioritize here is maybe... Do you want to just keep exploring the ruins? Because we just found our way in, so we might as well. Yeah, I think we check out that room with the statue. Yeah. And yeah, we'll do it all serious. Explore the ruins, and then I guess we'll probably get Lazale back in the party. Swap her out with somebody. Probably um, Asterion, I guess. And go look for that Githyanki crash area and see what happens. And then we'll okay. just keep going. Cool. We'll see you guys Sounds next cool, time. cool, man. Bye-bye.